I wanted to revisit the Oscilloscope XY drawing program from the Christmas tree video and look more closely at how it actually works. I modified the original program, which I will link to in the description, to add a few more sets of X and Y points. So the original X and Y will be right here to draw the Christmas tree, but then I added another set to draw a square as a demonstration, and another set of coordinates to draw an enhanced Christmas tree with garland decorations on it, just to show how it all works. And there's some other variables to go along with the changes I made, but the program is otherwise the same, and I copied and pasted the main loop where it goes through and plots the coordinates. This would be the original Christmas tree. And if I want, I can comment that out and uncomment this one to draw the box. Or I can have this one to draw the tree with the fancy decorations. Or the one that's actually showing right now. I put all three graphics in a loop with a delay in between to give enough time to view each picture. Now I'm going to download this version of the code where it just draws a box instead of all the graphics. Because the box outlines the entire screen and it's a little hard to see, I'm going to scale it down and move it slightly so we can get a better idea. Now the display is showing about 1 volt per division, so we have the X voltage going along horizontally and the Y voltage going vertically. So this corner of the box would be 0 volts on channel Y, because we're down at the bottom, and about 5 volts on channel X, because we went 5 divisions over. The bottom left corner is 0 volts X and 0 volts Y. So to get up to the opposite corner, it's approximately 5 volts X and 5 volts Y, because we go over 5 and up 5. And to get the top left corner, it's 0 volts X, because we want to stay on the left, but it's approximately 5 volts Y to get up to that point. It's not exactly 5 volts in both directions. It's give or take for the maximum the PWM and the hardware can do. But we'll just call it 5 volts in X and Y, just to make it easy. So the way this works, to draw the box or anything else complicated, we just simply have four coordinates here. On X, we have 0, 0, 255, 255. And on Y, we have 0, 255, 255, 0. 0 means zero duty cycle on the PWM output, so you would get zero volts. And 255 is the maximum voltage on the PWM output, which we're going to approximate to, say, 5 volts. So in this simple four-coordinate drawing, we first draw x equals 0 and y equals 0 volts, which starts us down in the bottom left corner. And next, we keep x at 0 volts, and we bring y to 255, or 5 volts. So that means we draw straight up. x is still 0 volts, so it's the far left, and y goes up by about 5 volts. Now we want to get over to the top right corner, so we need y to still be 5 volts, but we need x to move over 5 volts from 0. x equals 255, or 5 volts, and y equals 255, or 5 volts. Then we need to go down to the bottom right corner, so x will be 5 volts because it's 5 over, and y is 0 volts because it doesn't go up at all, it's down in the bottom. So x equals 255, or 5 volts, and y equals 0. At this point, the loop will just cycle back to the original coordinates of 0 volts and 0 volts, which means we're going to draw from here straight over to where we started, and then the loop continues and we end up with a box. Understanding how the XY mode now works with voltages on the PWM outputs between approximately 0 and 5 volts, let's see how the Christmas tree with the extra decorations work. So I'm going to comment out the one that draws a square box, and I will bring in the one that draws the fancy tree by just commenting out 
the bigger comment block command so that this loop is now active. So let's download this and see how this works. Here's all the X and Y coordinates for this image. So it's similar to the original up to this end point where we have values of X equals 200 and 140 and 140. We have the same thing on the fancier tree and then we've just added a whole bunch more coordinates. The way the original tree is drawn, we start out in the bottom left of the tree with PWM coordinates of x equals 110 and y equals 15, and that lands us right down in the bottom corner. And then next, we go straight up. So x is going to be the same, which is 110, but now we, to go up from 15, we go up to 35 and we land up here. And then the next coordinates get us toward the left, and then the next coordinates get us up and diagonal, and then we climb back down, and we walk around, and we close off where we started. So to do the fancy decorations, if I'm already down here at the bottom after drawing a complete tree, I need to retrace up to the first point that I drew this new plot. If I just try to jump from down here over to here and then start drawing, it's going to drag the trace over to here, which we don't want. So we have to redraw along the coordinates. So that's what all these extra X and Y coordinates are all about. I'm basically walking back up and then I want to draw a line up to this coordinate, which looks like a diagonal garland. And then I come back down, and just the way the RC filter works with the charging and discharging of the capacitor, there's a slight curve to the increase and the decrease. So it actually looks like there's a thick line, but it's actually just me trying to draw one line up and then follow it back. And then I go back up to this point, and I draw up to this corner, and then I follow it back down, and it does the same thing. It does a slightly different curve, convex, on both sides. So you get this little gap in the middle and it looks like a thick decoration. Then I draw over retracing the tree again to get up to here. And I go up and then come back down. And then if I'm going to end right there, the tree starts drawing down here. So I have to actually go and walk back down here. And then I just allow it to start over. So it goes 110 and 15. And then it goes back up 110, 35, and so on, and draws the outside of the tree again. Then it does the retrace and the brand new garland, comes back and starts over and over. That's essentially how the PWM outputs on the Arduino are used to create XY patterns on the oscilloscope. I want to try a built-in hardware DAC on a more powerful Arduino. So when I get those experiments underway, I'll do an update.